Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Shadow and Sun Show. I know it's been a while, but, uh, you know, life's been doing its thing and I've been pretty busy. But uh, I've been mulling this idea around for a while. A couple of people have touched on it a little bit here and there in our, you know, circle of friends. And as you can see from the title of the video, um, I'm going to pose a question to you. And uh, this one's for all the marbles. I, I, I want to see... Uh, what each and every one of you, all my, my, you know, good friends out there, uh, what's your answer to this question? You know, maybe it's different, um, for different, you know, groups. Um, but, but what is it you really want out of the, or, or at least your role playing game experience? You know, um, what brings you to the table? And, uh, like I said, this one's for the marbles. So you got to answer honestly, what, what is it you really, really want? Um, I'm going to go over, from at least my experience, the, the types of gamers I've encountered. And the, the most important aspect of this whole thing is being honest, uh, obviously with yourself. Because if you aren't, you're going to end up being dissatisfied when you get to the table. At the end of the game, at the end of the game you're going to be like, yeah, that game sucked. You know, uh, I didn't get what I was looking for. I didn't get what I wanted out of the game. Um... And what you want, you know, for me, you know, it's always treasure. That's all I give a shit about. I'm kidding. Um, but not entirely. I, there is some honesty to that. I do like treasure. I, I do like walking away at the end of the game, you know, going, hey, I got this, you know, or I accomplished that. But, you know, uh, nothing says accomplishment to me more than having a, a tangible piece of proof that I get to carry around with my character, you know, until, you know, the DM breaks my my uh, bastard sword for the umpteenth time, but are you guys social gamers? Is that what you do? Because that's what the gang is doing. You know, uh, you get your, your regular group of friends in your, your area. Maybe they're, you know, longtime friends, or maybe they're the, the new college friends you have, or, or you know, you're getting together a new group uh, of, you know, people that are, you know, close to your area. So that's what you do, because that's what everybody else is doing. Are you the uh, beer and pretzels guy? It's it's just something to do while you're, you know, chopping down some pretzels, guzzling some beer, or your your favorite adult beverage, and that's the activity that you do during that thing, and it's, you know, uh, a little bit less casual than the the uh, social gamer. Are you the adventure gamer? Are you uh, the the It's all about the excitement, combat, dodges, jumping, avoiding traps, doing the Indiana Jones thing, you're just in there for the adrenaline rush. Nothing wrong with that. That's that's probably my my second category. If if I'm just sitting around talking and my character's just sitting around talking, uh I get bored quick. I don't care. Uh I want to get on to the the you know the the excitement, the action, the adventure. Are you one of those dreaded spreadsheet gamers you're in it for the numbers and the crunching of said numbers and and the the the, the recording of facts and figures and, and 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 doing the record keeping for the group awesome every group needs one of those guys um but if that's who you are let everybody know that's who you are and they'll find you a nice quiet corner in the room so you can you know take your notes and do your thing and you know uh every once in a while they'll bother you with you know oh you gotta make a saving throw are you the role player? Are you the kind of guy that, that likes the aforementioned just talking heads all night long, just, you know, doing the, the, the verbal sparring with, with the GM or the other players? Awesome. You're at the front of the, you're at the front of the group. You're doing all the talking for the rest of the guys. Great. Everybody needs one of those too. Are you the full immersion player where every little detail is going to bug the crap out of you? If, if somebody, you know, uh, interrupts with an anecdote or, or you know, wants to show you the latest picture of their, their grandniece, uh, something like that. Um, you know, one of those 4D guys who, who just wants to, you know, sort of block out the whole world and and, and the game is all that, that, that exists for you right then and there so you can, you know, take that, that experience with you uh, and, and, you know, replay it over and over again like a good movie. Nothing wrong with that provided you're in a group with fellow gamers that are into that because if you've got the spreadsheet gamer or the adventure gamer or the beer and pretzel guy in one of those games probably not going to work out so well for you in trying to, you know, 
block out all the other things around you except the guys at the table, the gals at the table, the, the GM and, 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 and that sort of thing. But the most important part, folks, reiterate, is honesty. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with your, your fellow players. And by God, make sure your GM knows what kind of player you are. Uh, especially, you know, the latter group. Uh, I, I found that everybody's got to be on that same page or it doesn't work out right. Um, and if, you know, you're you're not into it, because I've been in those games. I've been in the, the full immersion games before with uh, various groups. And everybody's got to be on the same page. With the other categories, not so much. You can have a nice mix of, of everything. But, you know, be honest. You know, have that session zero or, or the pre-game, you know, social contract meeting to where you can hash all that out so that everybody, you know, gets what they're looking for out of their game. Because, trust me, I've been in a lot of crap games over the years. And if I knew now, you know, what I know now, or if I knew then what I know now, uh, I probably would have had a lot better experiences here and there in those those, those few instances where, where things didn't pan out the way we all hoped, you know. Uh, of course, you know, there's the, the life getting in the way and, and, you know, people dropping in and out of games and that thing, uh, which we will talk about later, uh, either this year or into the next year. Uh, but I, I, I've done videos about it before, but there's some new insights because I've been doing this for a while since the last one. So go over to the insult section down below and let me know what kind of gamer you are. Because one of these days, you're probably going to be in one of my games or I'm going to be in one of your games or we're going to be in a game together. And having that information as a permanent record, so to speak. And, of course, you know, you could always come back later and, 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 and revise your statement. But what kind of gamer are you? Uh, I'd like to know. Your, your GM needs to know. And your players should know. So that's what I got for you today. I'm going to go start getting ready for the Turkey Day celebration uh, here at the Shadow Household. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Um, I will see you guys when I see you. Hope you guys have some great games. I got like four coming up in the next three to five days, so I got to get ready for that as well. But until then, folks, happy trails.